Ali Norwood, who built the house, also built the Norwood Tower downtown. It's hard to believe this dilapidated structure once belonged to some of the wealthiest people in Austin. Ali Norwood built it in 1922. A fountain, greenhouse, and swimming pool grace the home located off Riverside Drive. Today, cosmetically, it really looks terrible. And the average person that comes by here looks at it and says, you know, where's the match? Or, you know, get a bulldozer. The city of Austin bought the property in the mid-80s. Plans to restore the house keep falling through, and the city can't do it. We just do not have the necessary general fund dollars designated to restore properties. Well, okay, we're going to do something about it. Enter the Norwood Posse, a team of neighbors and business leaders joining forces with the city's Parks and Recreation Department to raise $300,000 to restore the house themselves. It's a kind of an eyesore in our neighborhood. It's an unusable part of our public park system and uh, we'd like to change that. They have found contractors and architects to do the work for dirt cheap, in some cases pro bono. Not everything's about the money, some things are about passion. We like old buildings, it's a great piece of property and a great spot, so we'd like to see it restored. Already people are imagining the possibilities. Located above Lady Bird Lake, the Texas River School wants in on the project. Any resource on the rivers is, is just uh, golden. We want to take advantage of it. And neighbors envision lots of uses. Part of it could be used as a rentable event center, similar to the Zilker Clubhouse. You could have reunions, weddings, parties here, and stuff like that. But there's still that one tiny problem, the money. We don't have the money either, but we figure with creative fundraising, we'll be able to uh, raise the money that's necessary to fix it. This posse says it won't be easy, but with the growing number of volunteers and funds already coming in, they have high hopes the Norwood House will once again be a site for sore eyes, and not the sore site it is today. Veronica Costello, News 8 Austin. Meet Ollie and Kaylee Norwood. After their house and grounds were finished, as you can see in these photos here, Ollie went on to build the historic Norwood Tower downtown on 7th Street. The estate originally included Austin's first geothermal fed swimming pool. You can see remnants of it today and old film of it in use. The city bought the Norwood estate in 1985. However, without a vision or plan to use the house, it has sat vacant for 25 years. In April 2008, members of South River City Citizens volunteered to form the Norwood Posse with the goal of doing what the city has not done, making the house a usable part of our park system. The Norwood House was once considered to be one of Austin's showplace homes. You can see from the old photos that there were extensive terraced gardens, a greenhouse, a tea house gazebo, Austin's first geothermal fed swimming pool and the house itself, which was a perfect example of bungalow-style architecture, of which there are not many remaining in Austin. The pool had a temperature of approximately 87 degrees and was fed by a 500-foot well that is currently underneath Riverside Drive. We know the location. We do not know if it is operational. Uh, the, the house, as it sits, it sits right on the banks of Lady Bird Lake with a fabulous view of downtown. Some of that is obscured right now by dead trees and vegetation that doesn't belong there anymore. And part of our goal is to clear up the, uh, the vegetation that needs to be removed and show the nice view that there is from that site. The heyday for the Norwood House would be, well, beginning in the 20s. The house was built in 1922. In the late 20s, there were many articles written about the house and how Everyone wanted to be invited to go there for parties and such. Uh, and the Norwoods continued living there until 1960. It's bad enough that the city of Austin has let this house fall into such a state of disrepair. Residents of Travis Heights, and we believe other people throughout the city, believe that we should spend some of our parks money maintaining and rehabilitating historical structures that have that are a part of our historical legacy. To find out more about this project, please visit our website at www.restorenorwood.org 
or you can email us at restorenorwood at yahoo.com. To talk to a live person, call 447-2150.